Over the last week, I've been noticing signs that mute swan breeding season is coming up. Pairs facing each other with the classic heart-shaped neck bow and synchronized head movements is a sign that the mute swans are starting up their courtship. Mute swans normally nest between April and July, but if you're lucky, you might spot nests forming in March. I was really lucky earlier today when I spied this mute swan hidden amongst the vegetation on the other side of the river. Now most mute swans won't nest during their first year in a territory, so don't have their first clutch of eggs until they're at least three years old. On top of that, the early nesting mute swans tend to be pairs that have previously had eggs, since they can reuse their nesting sites that they know were successful. Therefore, it's quite likely that this spot that I spotted was at least four years old and that this isn't his first breeding season. But why do I call him a he? Well, since I couldn't spot his partner to compare him to, it's largely a guess based on his behavior at this time of year. It's the job of a male mute swan to pick a spot to start building the nest and then the female will inspect it. She has criteria for him. It must be close to shallow water with an abundance of food in easy reach, away from the disturbance of predators and have a large amount of nesting material close by. If she isn't happy with his choice, he'll have to start again. Once she is happy, she'll take over the main construction part, with the male passing her dried grasses, sticks and rushes to help build the nest up. However, I don't think this is a female, because that rather large mound under this swan looks to be almost two meters wide, meaning that they're well into the construction phase. Normally females will lay their first egg while the nest is still in its early stages and then stagger out laying the remaining eggs over the next two weeks. So that the eggs don't hatch at different times, she doesn't actually start sitting on them to incubate them straight away. Instead, she spends these two weeks feeding on as much vegetation as she can to build up her energy stores. To make sure the eggs are safe from predators and don't get too cold, it's actually the male who attends to them at this time. His feathers don't fluff up, meaning that not a lot of heat is transferred to the eggs and he'll alternate between sitting on the eggs and building up the nest. I'm thinking that this one is a male, attending to his nest and his slowly increasing number of eggs. I'm hoping that if I check back in a week or two, I'll spot the female, her feathers all fluffed up as she keeps the eggs warm enough to start developing. During this main incubation phase, she'll rarely leave the nest, relying on the energy reserves she built up during the laying period while the male defends their territory. I'll be sure to check in with an update if I manage to spot any cygnets or baby swans along this stretch of the river in the next few weeks. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.